Joe P says, hey, Monster Mash and the Graveyard Smash Boys. Mm. Um, five months into my first office job, and I noticed one of the most underhanded tactics I've ever had the misfortune of coming Ooh. across. In every bathroom, the oh, toilet God. paper rolls would be crushed up into an oval shape. Apparently, this is a cost-saving ploy to uh, ensure that you could never take more than a small section to use at the time and it would limit unnecessary bathroom time and toilet paper waste. That's awful. What it meant in reality was that you could only use one sheet at a time. You need more than one What's sheet. What's the worst shady office work dealing you've ever experienced or heard about to keep the working man down? Never stops, never stopping, Joe P. Uh, I always talk about wet naps because that became a statement. That What that the fuck? It became a statement. Uh, at the, the company I was working at a while back ago, like like when I was doing QA, uh, there was a point when me and uh, the guy I was working with were just sitting there and looking around, and we're watching as each cost-effective uh, new plan came, rolled out and how disastrous it was because it was so desperate and that it was poorly thought out. It would always lead to bigger problems than the one it was trying Every to solve. Every single time. And the, our favorite, because it all culminated eventually after a buildup of like, nope, change this, roll that out, got rid of this. Um, just just little little quality of life things going away as opposed to coming in, you mm-hmm. know? And um, the one that we, we got down to was wet naps because uh, once upon a time, uh, a standard thing to do at the end of a day of test was to go around to every uh, aisle and hand out wet naps for everyone to wipe their controllers, keyboards, and mice down, and then your hands. That's great. And go home. That seems very nice. Just clean your clean your station and and head you're out. sweaty and you know, you would grime everything, it up all day. Everything, right? And then at the same time, you know, you'd use and you could then whatever. Like the 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 cleaning people would then pass by, clean up the rest, and everyone's fine. Uh, there was also a place over at the front of the office where there was a bucket of like wet naps. You can go grab it any time if you needed. Yeah, one. if you sneezed on your shit or whatever. Yeah, or puked that or was eventually uh, considered too too much of a cost, and in, in trying to save everywhere they could, uh, it included not having wet naps. Oh, we we'll save like eighty bucks a day on this shit if so we just cut out all wet naps. We we got rid of wet naps. We stop handing them out. No more wet naps available for your pulling, and no more uh, cleaning at the end of the day. And live in your own. Film. We literally watched people get more sick at the office over time, <laughs> and would see everyone missing. How much money is that? How, what's the project? Oh, that much. Okay, that's that much money you're not getting today because you have less test. Right, that's that. There's you just that blew much a money. Whole day, because te- you know, like what you got thirty people working on it, and three people missed ten days. Right, that's right. A whole day gone, and and, and certainly like, and you were going to pay this person whatever they were at, and and so on and so forth. And it was like, okay, so the moment one person gets sick for one day, the cost of your wet naps is evaporated. immediately evaporated. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and it was like, you fucking morons. You don't understand. It's like this is not something that you look at and go, "Oh yeah, no, save that eighty bucks." Well, it's, there. It's, it's always like, it's so it's, stupid and short sighted. It's, it's this corporate thing. You look, you look, and of at course, it, it wasn't limited to one person. It happened everywhere. You look at it from back to front instead of front to back. You go, "Hey, what are we spending money on? This? What can we cut and still do our jobs? This?" And at no point someone asked, "Hey, wait, why do we do that in the first place?" Yeah, and if you're, the answer is. Oh, so people don't get fucking sick. And if you were lucky, your quality assurance coordinator, your QAC, would be sitting at the end of your row and he'd have his own <laughs> bottle of uh, squirty fucking yeah. hand if wipe was, for you. You should get that. If you were lucky that, he, that, he, that he or she would bring in. But for the most part, the enforcing of that also, of course, when people come in and they never had that, it doesn't become a whole thing. Hygiene goes down. Like, you watch it happen. And so, like, f- once we had that moment of calculation and saw that occur... It then became a thing where we walk in, see something else is gone, see whatever, you know what I mean? Like, oh, the guy whose job it was to, like, handle the hardware and, and like, not have this tangled controller mess inside this closet over here. Yeah, he's, he's oh, at sick. Today. Oh, you got rid of he's that person? No, no, you got rid of oh, that person? Oh, he's just gone? You got to go figure it out yourself now because that person left and, and, and you didn't fucking replace them? Hey, man, wet naps, you know? It just became the all catch-all for... 
oh, everyone's lives are more miserable and the company's making less money as a result of your stupid incompetence? Hey, man, wet naps. Mm. So that's the first with a bullet to me. Um, I know one that's not really, it wasn't, it was meant to get more money, but it wasn't really meant to save, it wasn't like cheap idiots or whatever. But there was two things, a guy at, at one of the testing places I was working at, it was like a guy that's like, I have these bold new ideas. One of them went through and one of them did not. So he goes, for our clients, I'm going to give them like the spiel where I'm like, your room that you have your game being tested in is completely locked down. There's going to be a code on the door and only people that are hired on your project will be there. Yeah. There'll be no miscreants from other groups and that guy, if he doesn't know anything about your game, he's never going to see it. Don't worry. That they instituted. They put in these stupid door codes with the, with the big buttons and you'd forget it. You'd whatever. I need to actually talk to a guy in there about like a technical issue, whatever. Uh, can't, can't fucking fuck knock. What? I need to talk. No, no. What do you want? I need to talk to so-and-so while he can. He's busy. I'm like, I need to talk to him on break. Like I was told not to let anyone else in except if for him or him, like bosses. Fine. This is already so stupid. Right? And this was like, this is that room. This is that room. Then there was like this negative sort of almost turf-like behavior, like get out of our room. Like, this is our room. We're that's, on this special That's why project. we have it sealed off so that you plebs can't get in here. This is our special project, and you know, whatever. And it was, like, really standoffish. And, like, when I started working there, it was just it, – these doors had the fucking things frosted so you couldn't see in. So you couldn't even see if the motherfucker I, you wanted to talk to was in the so, goddamn room in the first place. Uh, I mean – This is the one that was instituted. I, I, I hear I'm you. I'm going to tell you about the one that was not. Okay. Because I was like, that's so standard from where – you know, like that just – that became such a bog standard thing for security purposes. Yeah. That cold rooms and, and lockdowns and whatnot. For his projects were – often contingent on no one else in the office knowing about them. Right, I know. I um, know you went through the same sort of thing. Yeah, so it always became a thing where they just kind of went, look, use the instant messaging to talk to the person you need to talk to. I wasn't allowed. Well, then you have Only <laughs> leads at the time. I became a lead, yeah. but at the time I couldn't. Well, that's a whole other, yeah. That's or like, a, that's a whole other, like, I can't get through this level or I don't know, like the fucking command, like, yeah. where, the, oh, there's a guy that was working on it like a month ago. Well, where is he? Oh, he's in on that room. He got moved to that project. Now, blah, blah, blah. Right. The one that did not get instituted, this guy was like, I'm going to put in cameras and the cameras will show live feeds to our clients to always let them see how many people are working on the game so we never feel like we griff them. Awesome. Well, we're going to have 12 people on your project. And then, for the click of a button, they could see it. They could see how many people were given just to keep their eye on us. This did not get instituted because it was going to cost too much money to install all this shit. And secondly, the clients were like, that's fucking creepy. Yeah. This was just a I don't want to do that. This oh, yeah. is just a rumored reason where mm. I just heard from one of the mm. leads at the time. We were like, yeah, like the main client he was pitching to, which I believe was LucasArts at the time. Mm -hmm. They're like, no, we don't need that. We trust you to do the work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But like, no, but here's to make sure that you can see, trust. That's would the... you would you like to see our whips yeah. and chains? See, that's that's no. the, that's the dumbest. We thing. have such a display of whips and chains that, for that's, you. That's the dumbest Choose. thing in the world because they pitch that to the company, but it has nothing to do with the company because the company expects the work to be done. That's to fuck with the employees but I think to, it, to make it, sure no, that they don't take breaks. That's what everyone thought like, too. They were like, oh no, that's the catch to see if I'm sleeping, which I do a lot. Periodically, we'll, but, periodically we'll send you, the client, a text and it, simply reply yes if we should stop beating <laughs> our employees and don't reply if you approve. <sighs> um, I've, I've personally never worked in an office, so yeah. I don't have any office stories. I got one for you. But... Okay, that's fine. I have worked a retail job, and retail has its own cost-saving shenanigans. So as I mentioned before, I used to work minimum wage bagging at a grocery store for many years. Why? Because everything sucks and the world is not fair. But so used to be when you close a store, guess what? When you close a store, stuff's got to be put away. Stuff's got to be cleaned up. Stuff's got to be moved around. Places got to be closed, right? This includes warding off the, cut, the asshole customers that – desperately need milk at 10 20 p.m. when the store closes at 10 right it used to be that you would be scheduled till 10 30 
right? Because, I mean, you're, you're actually only going to get out at 1030. And if you're coming in early, say the place opens at 7, you get scheduled at 630. Because, I mean, you're, you're coming in for, for 630 and then you're getting all your shit ready and you're, you're, you're working to get the place ready. At some point under new management, after the old management got caught embezzling all the money from the head company. As you do. Uh, the, you gotta. the corporate manager, instead of the private manager, came in and said, That's stu- Why are you... Go- all right. So, hey, Pat, you're doing the closing shift, right? Like, yeah. You're scheduled till 10. I go, great. I love finishing early. 10 rolls around. Punch out. What the fuck? Where are you going? It's 10. I'm done. Well, no, you have to close up. But you're, you're, so the way they wanted it to work was that you would stay the extra until you were actually needed, then punch out. But because of the way that the punch cards work in this place, you have to get On it the signed from your boss or else it's not valid for your paycheck. But because of the way Quebec labor laws work, if you punch out, there's no fucking way you're doing a Punching single minute in. of work. Yeah, you yeah, cannot yeah. punch back in. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. are done. Yeah. And you, you're you pretty much legally required to leave. Every night for like months, every single employee, the, the same fight with supervisors who didn't care. Mm-hmm. <laughs> who just didn't care. And the morning one's even worse because they say, come in, you start at 7.00. You know what you have to do to open a grocery store at seven in the morning? You got to do newspapers. You got to do some cleanup. You got to do, you got to put the, the mats out. You got to do all this shit. So you come in at seven and you start and somebody comes out and goes, why, what the hell are the newspapers? Why is it done? It's, and in some cases, because you didn't get there early enough, the newspapers would be stolen by the homeless people to get sold yeah. down the street. It's like, well, I'm starting. It's just, just, yeah. yep. just yep. to save. It's. Half an hour a night on three employees. It's it's any any job that requires overtime <laughs> where you don't want to acknowledge the overtime. And like that's why Quebec has those laws. Yes. And it's why no, I punched. I, you can't you're not even supposed to talk to me. <laughs> right? Uh, and the other yeah. one that I have is my dad, where he 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 was working at a factory. This is an old guy from the old era and he works at a factory. Yeah. And his job was essentially to make sure nothing exploded. So he would check, hey, these bars are good. This, th- this machine is working fine. Uh, this test went properly. Your, your measurements are in order. Write that stuff. To, uh. And then the guy he was working with, the guy who did his job on the second shift, unfortunately became extremely deathly ill for many years and had to leave and was on sick leave. Yeah. So they said, hey, uh, you should just, when you're in, just do his job too. Well, do I get paid twice? A little. You get paid like 1.1 1. 1 1. times oh, as much. Oh, oh. And oh. don't don't work more hours. Just do both tasks. Yeah. Just do double the tasks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The task that is essentially safety checks. Yeah. What is that? No, we're not going to pay you more overtime than we would normally pay you. We'll pay you the overtime that you normally accrue. For what, and and yeah. every office has that. Oh no, the, the oldest just... the oldest in the book is absolutely the uh, the two man job is gone. The one of the guys is left. Now you do both. Just do both. And well, do I get a raise? You get a little raise. Just a little. Yeah. You get a dollar. You get a dollar. <laughs> right. Define raise. Yeah, no. Um, well, you'll be working a lot more hours, so you'll, you'll make more money. You'll have more, like, authority. People will have to listen to you. Uh, yeah, no. The it, it, Oh, my God, dude. Yeah, Just, it's, it's 101. When, it's, whenever it's office whenever overtime would happen, and they're like, Where, well, where's the money for the, our meal? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, there, yeah. there isn't any today. Well, I guess I'm not working today. Because <laughs> your life would depend on that meal. So, so working in QA, working in the trenches in particular, had a um... <laughs> okay. You need you need to specify that because people don't know the what the trenches. The trenches is the QA nightmare. Yeah, is the fucking just generally any uh, job. Yeah, yeah I guess it is. Yeah, but it, but I mean, it, when, when, in, in, in QA, you're referring to the trenches. It's you know you're in the fucking pit, <laughs> you know, yeah. with your test kit, and you're just you're doing the mindless activity all day, hoping for. Something. Something. 
hoping for the definition of insanity, which is <laughs> do this yeah. enough times, maybe something will be different yeah. on the 81st try. Maybe you'll enter a bug. Maybe you'll catch a bullet. Maybe you'll get fired. <laughs> God, God willing. Um, no, so uh, the, you learned the definition of NAS, right? Especially working with the Brits. NAS, N A U S E, right? Uh. And it is it is a word. It is a catch-all word for like just a um an underlying level of unnecessary annoyingness mm -hmm. to things. Uh, and so much of the you know that's such a nause. Why are you being a nause? That's like everything about the job contained nause, right? So you're operating with that as a normal given and, and, and the thing that's, that's understood. And I remember one day uh, I got put on mobile where we were working the phone games. and As pre-smartphone games, I'm sure. Pre-smartphone games, for sure. And this was now uh, – because uh, that's hell because you're just on these different fucking handsets. And, and it, it, it was a day where they were piloting a new system. Oh, God. And the system – was the one where upon locking your computer's test kit and taking your break, the clock started. And the little clock would show you how much break time you have left in the day. And if you go to the bathroom, you're deducting from that time. And you see exactly, or not deducting, it's adding up rather. And it's showing you how much time you've been away from your, 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 your kit. Holy shit. That single thing, one that single one factor, will make anyone, even the best employee you have, go from having a mildly irritating but otherwise otherwise productive day to the most stressful, annoyed, high strung they've ever been, because that number is there to tell you how much of a shit employee you're being, mm. and it's the definition of one of those little systems that they roll out that you can buy. That pretty much only exists to torture the people that work for you, you know? And as, even if no one acts on it, even if your your uh, boss doesn't show up and go, hey, man, you've been, you know, or whatever. It's just the number that's there to constantly scratch away at you and fuck you holy, up. Holy. It's like your spawn and your fucking life counter. The, the number box. counter for spawn's powers, <laughs> 9999, going down every day. It's, it was insane, dude. And like, obviously, they didn't roll that out in the greater screen uh, uh, to the rest of the company. It, it got to beta, but because it's just it's like there, you, I can feel the articles being written about this thing about how devastating it is to your mental state. Your psyche. By lunch, I was fucking done. Like I'm like, there, I just don't you don't you don't want to be there. You don't want to deal with this because even if you get up for the thirty seconds to walk to get your your drink from the vending machine and walk back, there's that number. This psychological torture, dude. This has reminded me of three different awful things. One is, hey, retail employees. You see a retail employee with a name tag? Guess what? They hate that name tag. Sure. That name tag exists so that a customer that has a fake problem can get them in trouble with their boss. And that's the only reason. So the customer who is lying and trying to steal from the store can go and say, hey, Pat was a dick to me. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, check the cameras. Like, no, we don't have time to check the cameras. Just apologize. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No! Two. That sounds like a really real story. Yes, it is. Two is the grocery store I worked at had faulty uh, freezers for the meat and the ice cream. Every fucking month, they would just turn off and they would do that thing the grocery store freezers do where they they would turn off and that means all the ice that has built up in the machine just starts to leak out in infinity water oh yeah just infinity and you've been you were you used to go to that store yeah yeah yeah, yeah you would yeah. go in and it's just a swamp so what they would do is they would take a person from every department in the store and say you are mopping the floor the entire day <laughs> instead of instead of calling a guy <laughs> here's where it gets really nuts in, uh, instead of calling yeah. somebody that morning to get, come over and fix it, they would have like five or six employees mop the entire day and blow their entire shift wasted so that they could wait until the not busy after dinner hour to call the plumber and save on the guy coming down. And if it broke at night, they would have the night crew mop 
all night and not do their job just so they could wait until the morning to call to the call the plumber to come in so because the rate would be low god fucking forbid hey, replace that's just smart that's I, just that's just good business i, right I was there. there eight years those yeah. bridges broke every single month for the entire eight years i was there hundreds of shifts gone instead that's of buying same, new fucking ones that's what you call smart money that's smart money hundreds right there. <laughs> but the smart worst money one ever money. you talk about the pilot we had something like that actually instituted you used to have punch cards just standard ass old-fashioned punch card you see like yep. dating back to the 50s yeah push it in stamps the time yeah push it in stamps the time that's it too many people are taking five extra minutes on their 15 minute break so that they can actually eat food on their four hour and 59 minute shift so that we only have to give them the one break. So we have implemented a new system. The new system will log your time. It's not going to punch it into a card. It's now logged into a computer that your supervisor can pull up at any time. And in order to log your time, you have to punch in your ID number, which no one remembers because we didn't have ID numbers prior to this. And in addition to your ID number, you have to verify it with your fucking fingerprint. Wow. Hmm. I, thought, I thought retinal scan for hmm. sure. With yeah. your fucking fingerprint. Your biometrics. There you go. So There you go. So this is minimum wage employee. Yeah. You have your 15 minutes. Now, biometrically register your fingerprint so that you're allowed to go on break. Now, in addition, this is a 15-minute break. How long does a punch card take? One second? Second, yeah. How long do you have to wait behind somebody so that the right line now. of people biometric... Oh, it didn't work. Okay, again. Okay, it didn't work. It Okay. So per you would perhaps do... Perhaps more than five and minutes. And you, you count it on your thing. It's like, okay, I have 15 minutes starting now. But it took you five minutes to do that. So when you come back, you get yelled at by your boss because you actually took 25-minute break because of the extra time you had to use on the fucking fingerprint reader. The, so they, they, for minimum wage baggers and cashiers. Why wouldn't you put the, the, the money for the, for the biometric fingerprint scanners into your freezers? And just buy new freezers. I don't get it. The Biometric freezers, freezers. Fingerprint scanners must be way more expensive Back then, than freezers. Too, there's probably fucking ten so trillion you, dollars. You, so you know what this you know what this you know what this led to? This led to a situation, hey, it, the computer says you took twenty five minutes on your break. Yeah. What? Right. Fire me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, we right. can't fire right. you right. because right. you've been here for longer than six months and the union's really strong, actually. Okay, so I'm just going to take however fucking long a break I want and just walk out of the store because I don't give a shit. <laughs> oh, boy. Like, it led yeah. to that. Yeah. With almost every single person in the staff. And mm -hmm. it's like, you've created a new, bigger problem yeah. by just, oh, my God. But, you know, <laughs> someone comes in and they're a consultant that has to find ways to save know, money, so, save yeah. time. Yeah. I, I have a dream almost every week in which I wake up going, man, I got to quit my fucking job. I got to call the store and just, and then I get confused. <laughs> I had that with school where I still think uh, I'm I, school. I legit get confused and go, oh, I haven't worked at the store in like five years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and yeah. I've gone that with testing too, Worley, where I'm like, I'm, yeah. really, I'm really enjoying being a YouTuber. I really wish I could fucking quit my testing job. And I, and I think to myself, I can I'm probably doing really well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I'm like, but I just, I'm just not. I'm still testing for some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, no, there's, there's stories of the like, like personal assistants waking up in the middle of the night, going, ah, oh, I gotta get, I got. Because well, what you spend most of your life doing. It because it, it just programs it into you in a like, like uh, trauma reflex kind of way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. Uh, um, I remember that was fun. I remember walking by the store one day. And then saying, hey, we need you. <laughs> get, get in here. And you're just like, I guess. I guess. I gotta. And I went. It's, it's my day off, one. And it's boxing day, two. Uh, uh. 
No. And they're like, we're going to talk about this on Monday. I'm like, motherfucker. Just casually. It's my day off. <laughs> you don't get to do that. Why are you hanging around there? Because wow. it, it was in the big shopping center. It was the mall. Still, yeah. Though. Just, just, just casually, like, uh, like you happen to be going that direction. Yeah, I just walked by and my boss saw me <laughs> and said, "Hey, get in. We need you." No. Yeah. Okay. What do you mean? You no. look okay. Get okay. in. Like. Okay, for a second, that's still pretty funny. But for a second, because I, yeah, you're, you're, that's coming up. For a second, I thought you meant recently you walked by no. yeah, me too, me and too. someone said that and you just had a fucking sh like if, flashback. If, if, if that happened, I would go crazy. <laughs> yeah. I would lose it. Like, I thought you just paused and I, went for us. You have a moment of, do I have to do what he I, says? I thought it would be like, it would go even further where you're half putting on the smock or whatever. Yeah, wear, yeah, yeah. And you're like, wait, no, what? No. <laughs> Dude. And you just throw it down on the floor. I, I was, Back to I the was, nom, I was dude. in that store recently buying paper towels, and I, I, like, I thought, like, I wiped something off my jacket, like dust from a, from a cab or something, and I saw my hand was dirty, and I went to walk in the back to wash to my wash hands, hands before realizing, what <laughs> the, the fuck am I doing? Oh, fuck. It's not even the same layout. They've completely yeah. rebuilt the whole store. <laughs> oh my god! Man. Yeah, I, I haven't been there that's in years. It's gonna be cause... with you till the day you die, oh, motherfucker. Absolutely. I that's been there not in years going anywhere. I don't live anywhere near there anymore. <laughs> so, like, there's no reason to go in. I forget oh, what it even looks like. That's not going anywhere, man. It's cool. Wow. Great All retail right. and the trenches and offices will kill you. They will kill you dead. But they build character. Mm, but you'll no, they don't. But you'll, yeah, they you'll do. but you'll make minimum wage, though. So Yeah, you'll make minimum wage. Some people have noticed that they've already gotten bigger paychecks. Hey, did you guys You uh, might even get an extra oh! shiny dollar. Oh, that wine. I heard that too. Yeah, yeah. We've A dollar. Al 50. We've all we've altered the way that the money goes out for the fucking for minimum wage people. I still remember. I right, dude, they're they're just like some people have already you, noticed. There was there was the <laughs> there was the the paycheck line. Yeah. And then not 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 this is not QA, this is pre QA. Yeah, but yeah. I remember there's the paycheck line and then there was the line for complaints about your check. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And literally one shrank and one grew. And it was just get your check. Take a look. It's wrong. Take two steps to the where, right. Go to the back of that one. Yeah, where we both used to work very early on. Yeah, I remember that always having issues with checks. But unbelievable. Like, every 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 other place I've been to, it's like yeah, maybe once a year you'll see like what what the hell? yeah every no. This was a verify with your eyeballs. Look at your own like and then verify phone. with your screaming voice. Yeah, in like <laughs> and five then minutes. walk to the next line right right at the second table every you know? single because because of the way that a grocery store works and the way that people come in for shifts oh you guys were working monday to friday usually right so it would be yeah. friday or monday that would be the bad day right because of the way the grocery store works every single day every single day the the boss or supervisor would have to take an hour out of their shift yeah with with the employees that came in and go you didn't pay me for multiple days not like the 15 minutes here or there. Yeah. You didn't pay me for Sunday. Mm -hmm. You didn't. And it, and it became, and, and it, it became discovered as to what it actually was. What it actually was is if you got called in since that wasn't on your schedule, it didn't count. Fuck. <laughs> so, so you, the person doing you had to ask for it to be changed. Wow. Wow. So the, per so, yeah, whoever did payroll was just, so a, guess a what happens? Yes. Yeah. You get called. Yeah. Everyone had the fucking, their phones ring a certain thing. Yeah. And it was, don't you remember that when I had a ringtone for work that was don't answer. I don't, but yeah. I, I, it went off around you a lot. And okay. it's like, and you would go, what's that? That's work off because uh. don't, an don't even answer. Cause if you don't answer, you can't tell them that you can't come in. Right. Because if you do come in, they're not going to put it on your check. And then you just blow half an hour arguing with them to put it on your check. And then it gets rolled over to the next week. Yeah. Ugh. And God forbid you're, like, too tired to, like, sit and pull out your calculator and do your hours. Yeah, too. that's what they hope. They hope that you're, like, if you, if you see a discrepancy, they'll be like, well, they are either too stupid or too lazy to, like, complain about this missing, Which, like, guess whatever. what? 
I am. So, Damn it, you, you know, me. this is a frame trap. I had no way out. Now, of. now I should point out to everyone who probably wonders. Yes. Almost everything we have described in these things, especially the paycheck stuff is super against the law. You are not allowed to do that. But hey, oh, it's a mistake. Doesn't stop it, it from happening. happening. Yeah, it ha- the bureaucracy. It's, it's definitely not a systemic intentional thing that has gone on for a decade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. The, the resistance to screen break policy was a, was a great one. Because when you work at – when your job involves staring at a screen, uh, you're allowed five minutes an hour to just not stare at the screen. So you stare at your shoes. And that's your, law, your you're right, as well, or whatever. And, and that includes, like, geez. That's why you put bullshit on your little cubicle desk so you have something to look whatever at. Whatever the fuck. And, I, and, like, when that was first, like, a thing that people brought up. Because the law was already there, but just no one was using it until someone said, hey, guys, did you know you can do this? And it's like, oh, shit, really? Oh, shit. And then, and like, the initial resistance was just, like. Why aren't you working? What do you think you're doing? It's like, I'm taking my screen break. You're what? No, this is legally. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Like it was that. It That's was unfortunate that, for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And 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 but 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 here's the problem. Like, okay, this is uh, not you with your contract. All right, this is not with you on job. This is you with your contract. You're not permanent. And no, no. who knows what's gonna happen tomorrow? When yeah, we look, who knows? Right. And and it's like it's like I'm on my screen break. Are you? Yeah. You're taking a break from your screen. Yeah. yeah. Where you're working. Where you should be working. Yeah. Okay. Look back at the wall where your picture and your name is on the schedule for the next couple days and just go, okay. I hated that wall because that okay. wall also kind Enjoy of- Enjoy like your was screen break. Depressing to look at that wall. Yeah. It wasn't a good idea. Calendar and just your face with your dumb little smile. Lana hated that wall. And staring at you, too. telling you, Fine. She didn't like you either. She's like, she sees you over there, and she's like, you, she sees you laughing or whatever because you're you're above her at that point. She was like, oh, what's he doing over there? He's having fun, or I can't tell. And then she just looked at the wall, and she's just like, oh, my name. Oh, I got to go in the next day or whatever. She just always wished she was yeah. hanging out in that area. Yeah, no. It's, um, it's some bullshit, man. All right. But then she got to work on third strike, so. Yeah. Hey, that's a pro. Don't make cry. How about that? And DMC, you and Liam sure grilled her for information she <laughs> didn't have or care about. <laughs> What's your, can you do table hopper? <laughs> Get out of my face, nerds! I gotta go test video games. Yeah, yeah. What uh, is coming up and out? Oh man, 